my friends and welcome to episode 22 of our Football Manager 2021 Let's Play it with Rangers. I'm recording this straight after 21 uh, because, simply put, it's kind of the best time to do both our first uh, recorded game of this season. So if you haven't seen the ins and outs, go check that out. They're very worth checking out uh, with some good ones, some maybe ones that are questionable, but hey, I'm trying to make sure that, you know, we're bringing in players that are quality that we can make a profit on in the future. So we started off the season extremely well with a 7-0 away win over St Johnston. Philippe Benkovic opened the scoring and I read the riot act at half time. You know, we're playing okay, but I didn't feel like we were creating enough. Second half, we kicked on. Adam Halzik with a hat-trick. Pavlovic with a goal as well on his debut. Ryan Kent with a goal and Kai Kennedy scoring off the bench to really give us a good start. We did have an extra friendly there because I didn't realise the league was going to start as early, uh, you know, two games and we're still in July. Uh, we beat Motherwell 3-1. Patterson getting his first goal for the club, which surprised me. Uh, Ryan Kent and Darami scoring off the bench, you know, continuing his development really well. We then played newly promoted air. We won 3-0. Orsic, Elena and Mare with the score, sheet, uh, the score sheet there before we played Dundee United in the Betfred Cup in the lead up to this game. I didn't realise this was a Betfred Cup game, otherwise, uh, you know, Robbie McCrory would have played. It was a fairly rotated side, I maybe did underestimate Dundee United slightly. Uh, Cresswell playing for the second game in a row, Pavlovich in there, Bassey in there, Kai Kennedy in there, uh, Ross McCrory didn't have the best of games, unfortunately. But we went 2 0 down, Glenn Middleton and Cole McKinnon, two former Rangers players, of course. Uh, excuse me, put a name, 2-0 up, but we showed a resolve, uh, I switched on, uh, who did I bring on, I brought in Mayer for whoever was on the right, I think it was Antonio Marin, put Kai Kennedy out there, and that seemed to allow Patterson to get further forward, Patterson assisting both Hall's ex goals, and then Kai Kennedy scored from a corner, he, I didn't expect that, you know, he's good physically, but I don't think he's particularly the best in the air, uh, yet, you know, five jumping reach, but he got himself a free header, Nobody even close to him, and it went in. Uh, so we managed to turn that around to win 3-2 from 2-0 down. Uh, a very good, resilient performance from the team, in all honesty. We then have the Champions Playoff uh, for the Champions League, which will be today's episode. We've got both legs coming up against Bromby. We start with the home legs. We want a good result at home because, you know, our away form hasn't been particularly great in Europe. I think Leicester last season was the only one that, you know, a strong away performance has been shown and we lost that in extra time of course because maybe it would have been different, you know, we were tired, we had to go for it uh, once they scored um, but I thought we'd already won that on away goals and I was wrong, very embarrassing mistake to make we won't make that mistake twice, believe me um, so you know, a wasted time George Edmondson is not registered those that watched the last episode will know that he is on a deal to potentially leave the club there's been several bids for him Accepted a few, then rejected them when a, bit, a bigger bid has came in kind of thing. So I don't know how much money he'll go for. You know, I'm expecting bigger bids to come in again. But Ed Munson is currently not registered for that reason. Um, I think there's a couple of other players, but they're all young lads who aren't going to be there or thereabouts in the team, really. Uh, so we'll get into this first leg. We'll see pitch side at Ibrox for this first leg against Bromby. So a few teams to the team that uh, beat Dundee United from 2-0 down. We've got Benkovic returning, Mayer returning and Ryan Kent returning. Um, quite simple really, Cresswell was tired anyway and Benkovic probably the better option. So we've got Lavakovic, Patterson who has been my starting right back this season. Really because I'm trying to force his development if I am brutally honest with you. Um, I don't think he's necessarily the better option than Tav. He is more defensive than Tav. Not by a huge amount but I think... Um, He's at an age now, he's 20 years old, where I want to be giving him as many games as I can if we're going to, you know, develop him properly. We've got Benkovic and Pavlovic at centre-back. We've got Calvin Bassey at left-back. Brozovic is injured, still recovering from that knock that he had a couple of games ago, so he's injured, so Calvin Bassey plays. Nico and McCrory in the midfield now. McCrory, again, similar to Patterson. I'm just kind of forced his development. He is taking the captain's armband as well because Tavernier's not playing. Kai Kennedy goes out to the right because that worked against Dundee United with Mayor return. Ken comes back in on the left where Orsic just played the last couple of games and Adam Halzik up top. Um, on the bench of Robbie McCrory, Lewis Nielsen comes to the bench, as I said, Cresswell was tired. Uh, Tavernier on the bench, Kamara on the bench, who I think is a better option than McCrory. 
and I genuinely think he's got a big part to play this season. I think part of the issues that we had last season was trying to force Nico and Elena to play together. I think we need a more defensive option in the midfield. Um, Kennedy is this, uh, not Kennedy, we're on the bench. Elena on the bench, Orsic and Darami. Well, I'm fairly content with this bench, so let's have. Um, for the fans, I guess. Um, getting good reactions there, so that's good. Obviously, as I said, we've got players breaking in, you know, Patterson, McCrory, Kennedy, all from the Youth Academy. Uh, other than that, all pretty much guys that we've signed or have given shots to other than Kent. Hopefully, we can, you know, start to really kick on in Europe because domestically we've been good. Hopefully, we can make improvements on last season. Um, as that's a great ball from Nico and Adam Halls it puts us 1-0 up inside three minutes of this game really good ball from Nico and this is where Nico is slightly different from where my system is he sees these killer passes that you just that doesn't necessarily suit my system but sometimes he'll just whip over the top and I like that I do like that you know as much as I want a slow build up pin the other team in sometimes just looking up and seeing that run that is where Nico comes into his own. And hopefully, I'm again hoping for an improved season from Halsic. Domestically, last year, almost all of his goals were European or Cup. Um, you know, I think it was only a third of his goals were in the league, which I'm not particularly fussed for. Um, but right now, the Bromby <laughs> looked fairly good in these highlights so far. You know, ball's always been at our end of the pitch. But we've got a break here. Again, that is a clear, clear penalty. Says it looks harsh. For me, that is apparently every day of the week. It's gone to VAR. I didn't realise there was VAR in the qualifiers, you know. Apparently awarded. I thought it would be... No idea who's going to take it. It's going to be Lovro Meyer who's going to take it. I don't think he scored yet this season. I might be wrong. We'll find out if he scores this one. He's not, though. I need to review my set-piece takers again because there's obviously been big changes this season, but he does come out to take the corner, whipped in towards Benkovic, who's a monster in the air, wins it, but it goes flying over the bar. Ah, oh, unlucky from Philippe Benkovic there. Patterson being beaten. Benkovic away. Up to Ryan Kent. He's gone alone, he's found Holzik back to Kent just wide. It looks like we're hitting them on the counter more than anything else. Um, but we're looking dangerous regardless when we're doing it, so you know, I can't complain too much. Halami brings it forward to Kitchen. Perry Kitchen, did he play for Hearts at one point? I seem to remember his name. Maybe he played for Hearts on Football Manager at some point, and I saved that I've done Mayor through to Holzik. He's not missing, is he? Good finish from Adam Holzik. Good pass from Mayer. But a great actual. It's actually the run from uh, Holzik that's really good here. Uh, the pass is obviously good, but if you watch it again, uh, the run from Holzik just takes the defender out of the game. See it there? Just takes the defender out. The other defender doesn't realise. And it allows Mayer just to pass it into that little bit of space and give Holzik the chance. So a brace so far for Holzik in the Champions League. We're looking good. We are looking very good right now. Nico's starting to tire, but we've got a laner that can come straight in there. So that's not too much a concern. McCrory also looking tired, which is a bit concerning. Corner whipped in, into nobody really. Ross McCrory picks up on a yellow card as well. So maybe do look to bring him off at half time for Glenn Kamara. Calvin Bassey launches forward. Kai Kennedy in for Mayer. Poor from Love Romare. Really poor from the Croatian. Got to be making the keeper work a bit more than that, I think. Bassey. Oh. Mayer went to take it down and the defender just stepped up. Really good defending from uh, the defender there. Nico. Out to Calvin Bassey. Has he got the ball in? He's not even getting the ball in, which is concerning as Perry Kitchen comes out to meet him. Ross McCrory. Nico. And for Nathan Patterson for his second goal of the season, it's going to be disallowed. Kai Kennedy, it's saying, was offside. Was he active, Kai Kennedy? 
he's disallowed to go. As soon as he goes to VR, you know the goal's disallowed on Football Manager this year. But I didn't even think Kai Kennedy was active here. He's offside. Oh, he's ran in front of the defender. Ah, just run out of the way, mate. So all you need to do there is just run out of the way. Bit unlucky there. Uh, capable of better, I think. And you can improve. You can improve. You can improve. Uh, McCrory is the one that I'm looking at. He's on a 6.9, which isn't bad, but he's booked, tied in. Um, I mean, he's recovered fitness at half time, but I still think that this is a sub that I want to make right now. Glenn Kamara coming on for Ross McCrory. Uh, Kai Kennedy picked up or not. Hopefully he's okay. It's not showing us anything major right now, so we'll keep an eye on it. Oh, poor pass from Patterson. And. Bromby got the goal, uh, the ball in the midfield, but forward, Benkovic equal to it, and this is where I like having these strong aerial defenders, you know, holds it, oh that's poor from Adam holds it. you've got to hit the target there son, uh, well ignore them just now, he looks okay, um, Mayer with the corner, whipped in, Benkovic again, you know he's been dominant in the air today, Philippe Benkovic, absolutely dominant, we will bring on a lane up for Nico. Uh, who is getting extremely tired. Um, like for like sub almost. Elena slightly more attacking minded than Nico. But I like both of them to be fair. Um, I'm ignoring these. Nathan Patterson picked up a knock. Um, so that's not good. We'll bring him straight off. Get Tav in there. Kennedy will see out the game. Uh, although again knacker. Oh god. Okay. Kennedy will not see out the game. Um, hmm. I'm trying to see what our options are here. We obviously got no subs. Hmm. Guess it's sticking me out there. I don't think he's going to be particularly content out there, but hey. I'd rather have the width. I'd rather have the width. So, a couple of injuries for us to deal with. As the sponsor board's kind of going a bit crazy there. They've settled themselves down now, but if you want to see that again, rewind. They were going bananas. Elena, back to Benkovic. Good defending from Charles Elena. Dominic Lavakovic finds Charles Elena again. Launch forward over the top, finds Adam Holzek. That's the hat-trick for the Czech international to give us a 3-0 victory here. And it's all been sort of counter-attacks that we've got the goals. I think we've been the better team, but it's all been the counter-attacking of chances that has uh, put us up front. No idea what the goalkeeper's doing. Very poor from the goalkeeper. But uh, Holzik just calmly slotting home. Yeah, it's that show that we've been by far the better team. We've not conceded many chances. They've had three shots, none of them on target. Very, very good. I'm going to strip straight to pitch side. We will be in Denmark to see off this qualifying playoff for the Champions League. I will see you there. One change. Uh, Patterson and Kennedy's injuries were not serious. Uh, Lavakovic picked up a knock in training, but he's fine to play. So I've just kind of gave Elena uh, a game over Nico. Just you know, a bit of rotation more than anything. Uh, but other than that, the exact same team that won 3-0 uh, at Ibrox. Um, so I'm fairly content with that. I think we've also put Josh McPake on the bench for Orsic, again just to give a youngster experience if there is an opportunity to, against a very good Bromby side, it's kind of, excuse me, what I'm thinking, now, yeah, so that's really it, I'm not going to go through the team again, and let's do, starting from scratch, yep, I'm happy with that, let's go for that, uh, content with that, as we kick off this game, we're obviously winning 3-0 from the first leg as Mayor whips in Kai Kennedy. Probably going wide anyway. Um, it was offside. So, never mind. Offside means it was irrelevant, whether it was uh, a good shot or not. But whipped over the top for straight for Lavakovic, one of our many, many Croatian players. Do feel like we're a bit of a Croatian side at the minute. <laughs> We've got so many of them. Whipped forward from Lavakovic, finds Ken brilliantly. Kent goes past one, past two, falls to Lovro Mayer, his second of the season, so he must have scored previously. Um, we also have the news that um, Bobby Carroll is away on loan to Doncaster. 
they're paying a lot about his wages and some fee over the course to cover a bit more. Um, so he's a weighted on caster for that. Um, and George Edmondson has indeed gone to West Ham for 50 million with potential rises to 18 million, which sees him, uh, sees the bank rather go up to about 167 million pounds in the bank. Benkovic is a bit unhappy. I made a promise to him to improve defenders, which seemed like a good deal. You know, we've got three defenders coming in. Uh, he was one of them. Unfortunately, he was the last of the ones to get a work permit, which means he feels more could be done to improve the defence. And I'm not spending money to buy a better player than Pavlovic or Brandarovic because I don't think we would get better for the price that we've got. As young foul, that's a second yellow for the tackle on Mayer. So we should really be in cruise control now. We are 4-0 up on aggregate, including the away goal, which means they need to score 5, and they've only got 10 men. So I'm fairly content that I'm going to make some changes at half-time. We probably will bring on Josh McPay, give him a run-out, see how he gets on. Obviously, it's been a while since we've seen Josh McPay. I think it was first season the last time he got a game for us because he uh, loans and whatnot. So let's see how he does. Losing out in the air, not ideal. Ever guards in. Good challenge, unfortunately, doesn't keep the ball there. And another challenge from McCrory, just can't get the ball. And Lee, Le, Lee, Lerby flicks it wide. Um, so we will make that change at half time. We will go, uh, I'm happy with how it's going. And we will bring on Josh McPake for Love Now I know he's having probably a fairly good game here, he's been our best player, he's got the goal. But I don't think we need him right now. So we'll bring on Mayor. Uh, McPake instead, give him up a run out, see how he gets on. As I said, they've got 10 men, they need 5 goals. This is a good opportunity for us to give young lads a game. I might even bring on Nielsen for his debut at some point and probably Dadami as well, uh, unless there's any fitness concerns. Would be sort of my ideal sub as Elena cracks it off the bar, cleared away. In fact, that's exactly what we're going to do now. We're going to bring on Dadami for Adam Holzik. Danish player of course as well and Cruz taking a free kick for Bromby Nygaard Piri Lamy well that's a decent bit of work there by Bromby actually really good to open us up there uh, but I think we're giving this another couple of minutes and then we are going to make that sub and bring on Lewis Nielsen I'll probably bring him on for Pavlovich he's played every game whereas Benkovic hasn't so Lewis Nielsen coming on for his debut and not in maybe his natural side, but again, just solid defender. I do like the look of this Lewis Nielsen lad. Uh, there is another one that Ed on D United have that would be very keen to get, but they're wanting crazy money from you know six, seven million, which is kind of where if he's costing that much money, he needs to come straight into the first team. And I think he's probably at least a season, maybe two seasons away from that. Bassett launches away. Can't find Kent, no. Kent on the press. Cruz does well against it. Mickelson. We've actually been fairly poor since they went down to 10. Charles Elena, he's got Dadami in front of him. Good run from Mohamed Dadami. Good save from the goalkeeper. Good save from the goalkeeper. Elena whips in. Benkovic. Loses out actually in the air there, Benkovic. He looked a big favourite and he is usually very good in the air. This has not been as good a performance as the first leg. Of course, as I said, we're never as good away from home, but hey-ho. Still looking like we're getting a win. Plus, of course, we've played a few of the younger lads. In fact, we've all three of our subs have been about getting game experience as Halami scores. Now, this is going to be disallowed. We've seen it straight away, the linesman not moving. Uh, and it's gone to VAR, which, unless there's been a change, is going to be disallowed. Confirmed. I don't know if it was offside or not. Oh, it's close. It's really close. We can't see in the middle, say, have a look at those lines. The lines look very, very close. Indeed. Elena whips in. Goalkeeper comes out and collects before it gets to Lewis Nielsen. Grittle Bust launches forward. Benkovic back away. Dinami's probably offside there. He scored. Yeah, I thought he looked offside. I mean, I don't know if he was offside for certain, obviously I was behind. 
the run, but it looked offside to me. Olsen plays it out, finds Cruz, Mikkelsen, Halami, Fodged. Full time, we'll find out if this goal was offside now. Oh yeah, clearly. Clearly, clearly, clearly. I thought he looked offside. He was indeed. So, happy with the play way they played, to an extent, but I'm not going to criticise him for that. We do have the draw coming up. So we get 13 million for this. Nielsen made his debut. Um, man of the match must have been on their side. Uh, so, just under 14 million. I'll quickly show you the finances. As you can see, up to 180 million now. Champions League group stage is drawn today. So let's see how we get on. Newcastle make a bid for Jamie Hamilton. Yeah, I want more than that for Hamilton. Injecting that. Hmm. Are we retraining unit position? No, we're not. So, yes. Gallagher, oh, do you know what? Yes. Tony Weston, you'd benefit from a loan, I would imagine, actually. You would do it, benefit from a loan. So, yes. I agree with those. And we will be seeded fourth, I imagine, still. Indeed we are, but we're no longer the lowest seeded team in the uh, thing. You know, another few wins, we can knock ourselves up to probably third seeds. Uh, we're looking at 48 points for that. We're currently on 29, so yeah, it's going to need a good season in Champions League to get up to third seeds. But we'll draw next team. Do 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 do. Let's see what group is going to be best for us. Dortmund beatable, Porto beatable, Barca depends on what they've kind of done with money. Ajax, Arsenal, Shakhtar would be a fun group. Maybe not the best group, but a fun group. Um, Lazio Atletico Sporting could be fun I would like to avoid Liverpool and R Benfica Leipzig could be interesting really like to avoid PSG Real Madrid Salzburg I think that would be a much tougher group than it looks uh, so yeah all, of course all of them are very tough groups uh, let's see we're with Lazio Atletico Madrid Sporting Lisbon I think a third would be a fairly good target for that, with the potential to next second, I think. Um, were Atletico Madrid in our group last year? I seem to think that they were. Um, I seem to think that they were last year. Liverpool, Atletico Madrid, yes indeed they were, and Ajax, of course. Uh, so this year we have confirmed Atletico Madrid again being the seed one this year, Lazio and Sport and Lisbon. I think third is definitely achievable. I think second is possible, depending on how things go. Uh, so next episode we will be back. Mm, do we take a jump and go for an old firm quarter final? And I feel like I'm gonna do it at home. I think that'd be a good option actually. I like that. So we're going to take a jump. We'll skip all the way to the Betfred Cup quarter-final against Celtic and Atletico Madrid as a double header. I think that would be a good episode, next episode. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you do, hit like, subscribe, and I'll hopefully catch you all next time.